Well, good morning. This is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred. I'm glad you could join me today. You know, it's middle of December here in Pennsylvania. Uh, I'm, I'm here at the t my 10 acres down at the bottom of my property where I set up my camo blind. And I just recently built another bird feeder station that I wanted to talk to you about. So anyhow, uh, you may have seen my earlier video on my camera blind that I, I uh, put down here along my creek. Well, up at the house I built a, uh, I did a recent video on a bird feeder station that I created a little little natural habitat for the birds to come to, that I could take uh, pictures with my new uh, Canon 70D camera with. But you know that feeder station is probably 20 feet away, 25 feet away. You know, and so. You know, I'm not getting as close to the birds as I like to. So, anyhow, what I what I did the other day is I I put a, a little feeder on the tree over there. If you want to just take a a quick look, you can see it on the tree there. I put that one there last week, and I noticed that the uh, I started to have nut hatches and chickadees come to that one, and so. Uh, but again, that was pretty far away from my camera blind, so. What I thought was, well, why don't I just build another bird feed feeding station down here next to my camera blind and and put it a lot closer. So I'm only like, you know, arm's distance away, probably six feet away. So that way I can really get up close. Uh, the, the lens I use with my Canon 70D is a 55 to 250 millimeter lens. And so anyhow, I, I was in, in the blind yesterday and... Uh, I did have a, a chickadee come land right on the top of this piece of driftwood and so this is a piece of driftwood I ran a screw through it uh, and he came and landed and I was able to take a nice uh, beautiful picture with it. Now again I for this bird feeding stand here I took like a four inch log you could use oak or this happened to be ash from my woods and I just dug a hole with my post hole digger and you know it's about 20 inches deep and put a little bit of fast set concrete around it and so so I did that, and then I built this platform down in my shop. I have a woodworking shop uh, that I, I've dabbled in woodworking my whole life, building different cabinets and stuff. But anyhow, this is like a 12-inch by 16-inch, just a platform. And then I have a piece of window screening underneath it to allow the, you can see there, a little allow the rain to go through. And uh, I put some uh, suet blocks here. I laid a couple on top with some corn and some... Uh, black oil sunflower seeds and I took this little piece of driftwood that I I had uh, you know my wife and I go uh, canoeing up at Green Lane Park near us you may have seen some of my pictures or slideshows on Green Lane it's just a beautiful natural park up there but anyhow we go around on weekends in the summer looking for logs and pieces of driftwood it's just a lot of fun to go out there and, and Bailey you know he our PSL mascot he always goes with us and so this was one of the pieces of driftwood I took like a four inch screw and drill it through and then anchored it to the side. This way it just creates a, a natural looking area for the bird to land. And so, you know, again, you, we want to bring the birds to us so we don't need to go out searching for these birds. And so I took a piece of, actually I was working at my neighbor's house the other day and she had a, a holly tree there and it was just beautiful, the berries on it. And so I took a couple branches from there and you know you could go out and scour your area and just clip some branches from a holly tree or you know from our woods they got this beautiful cedar branch and so again you're creating natural environments for these birds to come and land and so um, it's really been fun too with me sitting in the blind it's kind of like now I have some company you know I would sit there sometimes with Bailey but sometimes he can be getting away or make little noises and so uh, so it's I'm really looking forward to it I've, I've sat in there one one time so far it was a but the feeder's only been there uh, here a couple days it, and probably be, between building this and building the uh, installing the pedestal in the ground and this platform I, I think I knocked this out in about two hours I was able to drive my truck down here through my property and uh, 
park it here and have all my tools. And so it was a really fun project. I am looking forward to, to taking more pictures. And as we are coming down here this morning, I noticed from a distance that the birds really started to come here and congregate. And so, uh, and I also did scatter some corn. You can see over here, I scattered some corn on the logs. Uh, it just so happens that above the uh, line here, I had a big tree, but it's been fun because there must be like four little, I call them teenage squirrels, but they're not much, they're not real tiny, they're not big, they're just kind of teenagers, you know, and it's been kind of fun watching them uh, move around the trees, and, and so slowly I think they're working their way over here, they're going to be eating that corn, so, uh, so anyhow, I, uh, I hope this has been helpful for you, if you have any comments or questions or ideas or any tips or suggestions you might like to share. I always appreciate learning, you know, it's a, photography is a huge learning curve, just like gardening is, you know. Life is a big learning curve, you know. We just want to be humble and open to ideas. I think I have often said this, that a person that thinks he knows everything has a lot to learn, you know, and so I'm always trying to be open to learn mm -hmm. different ideas. So. so anyhow, I just want to thank you for joining me. And, and if you'd like to subscribe to our channel, please do so, so you could also receive newer videos. So we just hope you have a wonderful day. Until next time, this is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred.